Sharifina Reed. I'll be interviewing today. I am currently a part of the female basketball team okay. and a student at Arden. I, it's my pleasure to be tasked with interviewing here today, and I'd like to thank you for allowing the Arden High School alumni to interview with me. Firstly, I'd like to ask, when did you attend Arden High School? Well, it's a pleasure speaking with you as well, Sarafino. Um, so I started Arden back in 1976, and I left Arden at the end of sixth form. We call it sixth form then, in 1983. Okay. Secondly, I'd like to ask, when, how did you get involved in volleyball and were there other sports that piqued your interest? Sure. Back in those days, um, high school sport wasn't as professionalized, I think, as it is in, in today's um, environment. So back in the day, um, I actually represented Arden in volleyball. Uh, cricket. I played both Coles cricket, that's under 16 cricket, as well as Sunlight cricket, that's under 19 cricket. Um, uh, uh, volleyball, uh, which was my main sport. Um, I started volleyball back towards the end of my second year, second form, we used to call it that day. Um, and the entry into volleyball was really as a substitute for punishment. So in those days, um, you really should not be caught playing sports in your school uniform. And I was actually on the football field. At the time, the football field was divided into two segments. The part closer to NCB was a hockey field, and the part closer to the staff room was primarily for football. So we used to have two hockey goals um, at, at that part of the field. And after school, a couple of my friends and I were kicking box balls. In those days, we used to have box drink that we stuffed with people, and that would be our ball. And, and I was the goalkeeper in the hockey goal. And lo and behold, um, Mr. Barton, who was a teacher at Mats at the time, was doing his patrol, evening patrol. And he found us boys uh, kicking ball, all of us in our school uniform, of course, which is against the rule. Um, and he came to me the evening and he said, you know, he was watching me. He liked how I dived <laughs> and he think I would make a very good volleyball player. And if I didn't want punishment, I would have to come out to training <laughs> for volleyball. So that's really how I entered volleyball. But prior to that, I, as I said, I, I, I was playing a cricket. I was in track and field and I played house football. I didn't play football for Harden, but I played house football. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, who are the people who inspired you to do your best? All right. Well, that's a lot. That's a really a lot. There are lots of in any journey in life, there are always many persons who will contribute to you completing that journey in some way or the other. So at home, you know, you you had my mom, um, uh, who was very instrumental at the time. My grandmother, who I also grew up with. Um, in the school environment, there are many teachers that actually influenced me. Um, so on the sporting side, um, we had Mr. Barton, uh, who was a math teacher, who really was more than a coach. He was like a mentor, a father figure to many of us boys. Um, many times after sport and after training, we would have lots of discussions and so on. Um, on the cricket side, we had um, our cricket coach, um, his name, Mr. Daly, Courtney Daly at the time, who was very instrumental in, in teaching us the art of cricket. Um, in track and field, I think it was a Mr. Coleman was here at the time, um, who was also important. On the academic side, there were many, many teachers who were instrumental. Uh, my memory, of course, as you know, um, will remember mostly those who were in the latter years, in my sixth form years and fifth form years. So um, Mrs. Stewart, my ball teacher, who actually is responsible for me doing medicine. Um, Mr. Ezebunam, who was a physics teacher, who refused to teach a physics class until I came back to the class. And that's a, a kind of a funny story. Um, and of course, we had our, our math teacher, we call him Tranto. Um, Those persons, I think, were, were some of the key individuals who motivated me um, uh, to in my life's journey. Lovely to hear. 
Misery, how did you manage to excel at such a high level in both sports and academics? All right, so for me, academics and sports are, are just different entities of life. Um, and, and so they teach you different components of what you would need to function in life. Um, life is not a, 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 what we call a monolithic thing. It's, it's pretty diverse. So, for example, um, 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 let's take care of your diet, for example. You don't get up and want to eat stew peas every single day. You, you want some diversity in life. That's what makes life and food attractive. So, for me, sports is just part of life. It's not any different. Um, man was not made. Um, in order for you to be successful, healthy, you need to be able to have some form of physical activity. And therefore, sports was just that part of it. Um, so I don't like this, this distinction between sports and academics as if they are two distinct things. Um, sports is actually very academic, which is why I know people offer university degrees in sports. Um, and um, in learning to become very good academician, very good persons, we actually have a teaching methods now that gamify the act of learning because they are intertwined. They are, they are part of life. They are not separate. Um, in, in our days, um, we, we did PE, just like I think we do now, um, and, and many of us um, who had some talent in some discipline were encouraged to pursue that talent. Um, the issue now, I think, uh, you know, the only slight difference now between, say, then and there, I think, is that uh, sports has become a little bit more professional now. For us then, it was primarily a hobby. Um, now there are, you know, perfect, uh, what I call more structured programs that the students will become a part of. But the truth be told, it really should be fun. So when the fun comes out of it, then <laughs> I think you're, you know, you're, you're robbing the students of a, a very important component of life. But um, I don't think there's a difference. I, th I think there's, it's one continuum of which you have academics on one hand, you have physical activity and sports on the other one, and most of us really should participate in all of them. Some will be better at some than others, and some, like myself, were pretty good in the middle. You know, we're pretty good on the academic side, and we're also pretty good on the sporting side. Hey, sorry. Could you briefly tell us uh, how a typical day at school was with training when you were a student? Sure. So I started, just to describe in a bit more detail about my volleyball journey. So I started towards the second half, the second semester, um, just before the summer holidays in volleyball. Um, at the time, uh, Arden had a, a, a team, um, um, but Mr. Barton was busy trying to recruit and, and build a program. And I remember um, having had a few training sessions, he took me down to Kingston Technical High School for a practice match. Um, this is just after having a few days of training. And then I went on the court um, and I got hit in the face with a, with a spike. <laughs> and I fl fell flat on my back like that. Um, and from that day, I said, that will never happen to me again. <laughs> and so with that, I, I started...